Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Stadium. Here we are in round two, progressing up the Gym Leader Castle, and all of a sudden Team Rocket, out of nowhere, comes to disturb our progress, so let's take care of them in this video. They deal mostly with Poison-type Pokemon, so I figure we're going to want Steelix, or at least a variant of Steelix in our group. Uh, and by that I mean Scizor, which I appear to only have him in my one team. That makes me sad. Skarmory, though, too. Alright, well, let's go with this third team here. That looks like a good team. So, the only four trainer gym kind of thing going on here. And uh, it's two grunts, two executives. So, the first one, he's, he's the self destruct guy, so we're gonna need to, we're gonna need to be careful. Because that's, that's gonna be fun. So fun fact about Team Rocket, they're uh, they're the only evil organization in the Pokemon series that uh, wasn't after a legendary Pokemon. They just they just wanted to do bad things and get money and stuff. All the other guys are after some kind of some kind of legendary. So anyway, he's gonna lead with Cloyster, and that scares me because yeah, that's just what you know. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Well, I guess we can leave Dragonite in. No, he's gonna hit me with an ice attack. Alright, let's go into Spooks. Oh shit, it's a double switch. It is a double switch. This is gonna be insane right here. He's gonna go out into Sudowoodo, so maybe his Cloister doesn't have some kind of ice attack. In which case, that would be hilarious. I know, I'm messing with my thing here. So, it's a double switch, and I guess uh, he doesn't have Ice Beam or some variant of that attack. So I'm just going to go for the Curse here. Probably a stupid move on my part, oh well. But I don't feel like this thing is going to have... Yeah, it's, it's not going to have any special attacks. So I should be able to take this fairly well. And uh, yeah, that Tyranitar definitely going to take that like a champion. So, let's see what happens here. That might have been a quick claw, don't know. And that Earthquake is going to do massive damage. And it just barely lives. That's so friggin' dumb. God damn it. So that's going to, uh, yeah, do some more damage to me. It's a little unfortunate. Oh well. I'm going to go for the Ancient Power this time. It appears that I'm just quicker even with a minus one speed. And that will definitely take down the Sita Widow. Unfortunately, I don't get a stat raise there, so that kind of blows. But I figure that Cloyster is coming back in. There he is. Very defensive Pokemon. I'm gonna leave Tyranitar in because I already got that plus one stat, so I'm gonna just go for an Ancient Power here. I'm pretty sure I can live a Surf. Fairly confident with Tyranitar's stats. Yeah, definitely going to be able to level that Surf. So let's see uh, if this will take it out. Pretty sure it won't. Yeah, it's definitely not going to. And I don't get a stat boost. So unless I get a Quick Claw here, I'm out of here. And I don't. So that's it for Tyranitar. Team Rocket, probably the hardest gym because all four trainers are actually pretty good. Like... Uh, you know, most of the time, the Pokemon uh, that, you know, the first couple trainers have are terrible. But these guys are all pretty decent. So, I'm just going to go for a T-Bolt. I figure it's a pretty safe play. Uh, I'm pretty sure it'll go down at this point. Probably could one-hit it. But uh, there goes Cloyster, so now he is down to his last Pokémon. And let's hope it's not something dumb that's going to make this challenging. It is a Weezing, which is a physical wall, so that's good for me. So I can definitely just hit that thing with a Fire Blast to the face. And uh, we actually burn him, so... And look how little damage that does. 
So it goes for the Screech, and that's going to uh, definitely lower my defense there, but uh, I don't know if he's going to get an attack off in time. So we're going to finish this up with my greatest attack, Hyper Beam. And that will uh, clearly take out the Weezing. And even if it didn't, the burn would have on the next turn. There's no way it was going to do less than 100 damage. Hyper Beam from a Dragonite, come on. Dragonite, I believe, is the highest attack in this generation. I could be wrong. Might be Tyranitar. They're both pretty high. So the first rocket out of the way, let's move right along to the next rocket. Second Grunt. And, uh, wow, she has actually really terrible Pokémon compared to the last, uh, person. Uh, either way, let's probably go with... you... you, and... oh, I don't know... you. It's tough, because I want to showcase all the Pokémon that I have, but, like, you know, most of them are... The ones that I'm going to be using over and over, like Dragonite and Tyranitar, they're, you know, they're my two, they're my two uh, key players. So he's leading with Shuckle, and I'm leading with uh, Dadass. So it actually is Toxic here, which, that's really annoying. So I figure it's going to go for a Protect this turn, so I'm going to go for another Curse, but it actually doesn't Protect, which I'm not really sure uh, what happened there, but it actually goes for Wrap, and uh, that did three damage. The Wrap will obviously hurt a little bit there when uh, the actual effect comes into play. But uh, let's quit screwing around here. But now it goes for a Protect! Wow! That is so dumb! So my Earthquake, obviously not going to hit with the Protect Up, which uh, is a little annoying. So I completely misplay that. And I guess I don't have leftovers on Snorlax? He goes for Protect again like a giant homo, and it fails this time. So this should KO it. I, I know Chuckle has a lot of defense, but... Holy crap! With plus two attack that didn't even do half? Well, I know he's going to go for another protect, so I'm going to go for another curse here. So the poison is hurting here. I figure he's probably going to go for a wrap this turn. But he actually goes for Protect. Hopefully it fails, and it does, so this should let me KO this friggin' Shuckle. And I'm pretty sure if I KO, I don't take any poison damage. So down goes Shuckle. Oh, it's because Kingdra has the leftovers. So he goes into a Zoomeral. I'm like, alright, whatever, whatever. Sit that thing with a body slam to the face. So he uses Perish Song. And uh, that's fine, because there's no way that thing's going to live a body slam. What? 11 HP? Oh, come on now. So Snorlax goes down from the poison damage. Oh, boy. So, we'll bring out Blows Me. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's weakened. So I'm just going to go for a Dragon Breath. I figure he might switch or do something weird, but he actually doesn't. He just straight up goes for an attack, and that's not going to matter because Kingdra is super quick. So that does it for that Azumarill. So now it is down to its last Pokemon. 
and it's Shelter. So we can just hit it with a Dragon Breath. That's gonna do heavy damage. Whoa, it almost took it out. And it has Toxic. Ah, but it misses, so that's pretty much game at this point. Yes! It's done. So there we go. Won that battle pretty easy. Let's move on to the uh, third trainer, the Rocket Executive female. She's got a fairly decent team. It's pretty well rounded. A lot of poison types in there, so I think we'll use Geller. And in fact, I think it will use my best three Pokemon on this. I don't know, is Alkazam really one of my best? I guess he is. He's pretty overpowered. So he leads with Kabutops. And it has a Berserk gene, so I'm like, okay, so this thing is most likely going to be physical. So let's just set up a Reflect on the first turn. And uh, we'll let him make the first move. And it has ancient power, so that's going to do some heavy damage. Luckily with the Reflect, it looks like it'll be a 4-hit KO, maybe a 3-hit KO, I don't know. Luckily he doesn't get a stat boost, so we'll just go ahead and hit it with a Psychic. It should be a 2-hit KO. I don't even know what its name means. I guess it's, what, Kabutops? And it actually jacks my Bright Powder. Which really sucks, because it actually, it's a really good combo too, because it used Berserk Gene. And then it goes for the Thief, so that's it for my Bright Powder, that kind of blows. So that Kabutops is out of here. So Geller looking pretty good, lost his item, not a big deal. And he sends out Viaplume, which is pretty hilarious, because, yeah. Psychical, I, I think Psychic is a one hit on this, I could be wrong though. Let's just take a look. Oh, it, almost a one-hit KO. So it goes for Petal Dance. And uh, that's going to do very little to Alakazam. He'll be able to survive. Yeah, and the, the nickname there, because uh, my Abra on my Little Cup team is uh, Geller Jr. Yeah, there's a big story about uh, Uri Geller or something. It's like he's... Uh, that's why they stopped printing Kadabra cards, because... He thought they used his image for that, even though it's kind of a ridiculous claim. But they haven't printed one since he made the uh, suit, so it's tough to say. Anyway, there goes my Reflect. It uh, helped for that Ancient Power. And, uh, yeah. So that Psychic will definitely do major damage to that Arbok, and there's no way it's going to survive. So now we're down to the last trainer. Uh, of this video, too, because I don't want to do, like, seven battles, because the next gym has three trainers, so... We'll just keep this one versus the Rockets. Or the Rockettes. I wonder if they ever stole that from that. Anyway, here we go with the boss, the Executive Male. will eliminate us. Okay, so looking at his team, he's pretty well-rounded and stuff. He's got some good pokes. 
So I'm kind of worried. Anyway, here we go. So uh, I think we'll lead off with you. Probably bring in you. And, uh, oh, he's got that Wubbuffet. Yeah. Alright, we'll go with you then. Actually, I should have gone with Tyranitar. Anyway, doesn't matter. I'm going bottom row on this one. That's what I'd like to do. He's going to lead with Hypno. Hypno, one of his better Pokemon. All of his Pokemon, except for... Uh, well, never mind, not all of his Pokemon. Okay, so this Hypno has the ability Swagger, uh, Psychic, Shadow Ball, and Thunder Punch, and it's holding a Paralysis Cure Berry. So just keep that in mind. It's kind of bad that... I think that's the only Pokemon with a bad berry. Or a bad item, I should say. Anyway, as you can see, that Fire Blast does... Nothing. He's gonna go for Swagger against Dragonite, so it's like I have the Berserk Queen all over again. So with that plus attack, I'm just gonna go straight for the Hyper Beam. And I actually break through the confusion. And that uh, will most likely take out that Hypno. I don't think it's gonna survive a plus two attack Hyper Beam from a Dragonite. So already we grab the early one zip lead. And here we go, his next Pokemon is Tyranitar. Obviously not fully EV'd there just yet, because, you know, this isn't the highest level. So uh, this Tyranitar has the abilities Swagger, Screech, Earthquake, and Rock Slide. And, uh, you know, like my Tyranitar, he's holding the Quick Claw. So if I end up hitting myself, uh, that's going to be bad news bears. So I am confused here, and I actually do hit myself. Let's see how much damage this does. Oh my goodness, I nearly hit myself for half of my health pool. That is just terrible. He's going to hit me with a rock slide, and that's going to do even more damage. And it actually takes me out. Oh, because of the screech. Duh. Okay, so that's... That explains that. So it's a good play on his part, but uh, we've got something to counter this Tyranitar with that Kingdra. I hope I don't get. I'm, you know, I know he's going to go for Swagger, so I got to be careful here. And he's actually quicker. I'm assuming that's a Quick Claw. I don't think there's any way it would be faster than Kingdra. And uh, I am going to hit myself in confusion here, so this uh, this is not looking good for me. You know, it's just like with always with those hacks and the computer. But, uh, you know, I'm going to try and battle through it here. So he doesn't get a quick clock rock this time, but I hit myself in confusion again. So that was a great quick clock rock for him to get the first attack off. And now he's going to screech me. Luckily, it fails. Screech is not 100% in this uh, generation. I think it's like 85 or something, so I get pretty lucky there. But he gets another quick clomp rock, so he's going to get the Screech off anyway. What do I do? This time it will lower my defenses sharply. So hopefully I can break through this confusion, but I can't! So Kingdra is just going to keep attacking himself. And I might end up losing this if this continues. Like, this, this is really bad right now. So I finally break out of confusion, and I can hit this thing with a Surf. It's probably not going to take it out. Yeah, it's definitely going to be able to survive. And this Earthquake most likely will take me out after one Screech. And uh, yeah, it does. So hitting myself in confusion, three for three. Little unfortunate there, and then actually four for four since the only time Dragonite got through was with that. So uh, yeah, actually no, I did break through on the first one. So, I was 1 for 5 on breaking out of confusion. So I'm already down to my last Pokemon. And uh, he's going to be faster than me. The Swagger could be beneficial for me here. Hopefully I'll break through. I feel like my luck has been pretty terrible so far. So I hope it'll make up for it. And it does. Obviously there's no way that Tyranitar is going to survive a plus 2. Uh, earthquake from a Snorlax. So now we're each down to our last Pokemon.
kind of scared on what his last Pokemon might be. I don't really think I have a cover for Parasect. But it's actually Houndoom, so that's great, because if I can hit this thing with a freaking Earthquake, I can win this. So I just need to not hit myself in Confusion. It's going to go for Fire Blast. I don't think it's going to do too much, even though Houndoom is very powerful. But he actually misses there. My Confusion uh, definitely being awesome, making up for the crap earlier. And uh, yeah, so that's going to let me clean up here with the Earthquake again, and Houndoom will go down. And that's it for the Rocket Executive and guys. So that Houndoom, uh, just for your like, it obviously has the uh, it's a very good set with Crunch, Fire Blast, Solar Beam, and Sunny Day, along with the Miracle Berry. I think it would be better with a uh, Focus Band, but hey, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say anything bad towards it. Anyway, so there we go. With that out of the way, next time we'll take on the Mahogany Gym and his trainer. So I'll see you guys then.